Last Saturday was one of the most exciting and enjoyable days that I've had during my time at above our church. So why was that, Paul? What was happening? Well, it was the it was the training event for our missional community leaders. Mm -hmm. They are our uh, neighbourhood uh, missional communities, those in where people live, and also their their network ones, those that they're the areas that they're passionate about or that they're at their, that stage of life. It was great to hear what's been going on, what God has been doing, how uh, people have been changed, how some people have become Christians, um, hear about um, yeah, how, how, th how things have been developing. How, how did you find the day? Well, I'm, I'm really excited about seeing how God can use missional communities. So it was great to be reminded by John Risbridger that there is a real biblical foundation for that, that the Bible talks in Acts about the church meeting centrally in the temple courts uh, and in people's homes, so in smaller community-based units. And uh, I have a real conviction that God can use these smaller missional community units to extend his kingdom because that's where people can really develop relationships together and can have an impact uh, on the communities that they're part of. Mm -hmm. I think it's great to see that missional communities is not just something which is great for our culture at the moment because people are in such different places but also that is a biblical principle. But there was something that, that struck me as well on Saturday that, that some people are really struggling in life, mm -hmm. they're really busy and really tired and, and, and some difficulties are happening in their lives. But also there was a kind of yearning, a passion a unity in, in all the missional community leaders that we want to see God move, we want to see more people saved, we want to see more lives changed. If people are watching this film and they think, oh, I'd love to, to help or encourage a missional community leader, what? how could they do that? I think our desire, our longing is that every person who's part of a Baba church would really engage with a missional community, whether it's a neighbourhood or a network one. So I would encourage anyone who's coming to Above Bar to find out what the missional communities are and to check out where, where could I be involved, to find the leaders and to say, here I am, I've got these gifts, I've got some time, what can I do? Prayer is always going to be a key ingredient of seeing God work through our missional communities so we can all pray and we need to. Uh, and just getting stuck in will really be an encouragement to the leaders of our missional communities. Right, so if you're not part of a missional community, please check out the website and sign up to one. You can, uh, can make a difference in this city. You can be used by the Lord.